Chancellor of Wisconsin Environment, a citizen-based environmental advocacy group. And we're here today to announce that 12,000 citizens from across Wisconsin have signed a postcard or sent a letter in support of the Clean Energy Jobs Act. The 12,000 postcards, as you can see, stacked up in front of us, um, they come from citizens in hundreds of communities across Wisconsin. And following the event, we're going to deliver these postcards, which are addressed to 88 of 99 members of the state's assembly and all 33 state senators. And the citizens behind me here are also, also going to um, then deliver these postcards to those offices and then testify at the, uh, today's assembly hearing um, on the Clean Energy and Jobs Bill. Sorry, we have to get going. Yeah. Um, so today's announcement, um, also just to mention, comes just three weeks after 400 citizens visited the state capitol um, to support the bill um, and talk with their legislators at the uh, annual Conservation Lobby Day. <laughs> Great. Uh, in 2005, the state adopted a clean energy plan intended to have the state get at least 10% of its energy from clean sources by the year 2015. Five years later, that plan is working. It's a major success as the beginnings of what the state needs to do to invest in renewable energy and energy efficiency programs. And the Clean Energy Jobs Act is now intended to help the state take the next steps to develop our clean energy economy. The bill will ensure we get at least 25% of our energy from clean renewable sources like wind and solar power. It will prioritize investments in energy efficiency programs so that we use energy smarter. The programs will help us get off of our dependence on uh, foreign oil, fossil fuels, and dirty coal. And I think perhaps most importantly to myself as a director of Wisconsin Environment, really um, put in place programs that can help protect our environment for future generations. And I want to mention, we've knocked on thousands of doors across Wisconsin and communities, and one thing is abundantly clear, the public wants more clean energy and they want it now. People in Wisconsin are deeply concerned about our dependence on oil and coal. They know we can do better by harnessing clean, renewable energy um, from the wind and sun and by using energy more efficiently. Wisconsin, here we have abundant natural resources, a strong manufacturing, agriculture, and uh, research base. These are all the tools we need to be a national leader in the clean energy economy. But we need to act now. Other states, Minnesota, Illinois, even Texas, are doing more with clean energy and getting more of the jobs that go with it. So we need to um, take the next steps to compete, and we can't afford to wait. We want to thank Governor Doyle and legislative leaders for introducing the Clean Energy Jobs Act, and now we want to see the legislature move the bill forward and signed into law. I next want to introduce a few citizens um, who are among the citizens who have signed letters of support about the Clean Energy Jobs Act to talk about why they personally um, support the bill. I want to first introduce Heidi Spade. Hi, my name is Heidi, and I um, work with a local nonprofit. And I'm here today because I really care about the future of Wisconsin. And as an expectant parent, um, I started to think about, you know, what, how are my priorities and the things that I really care about changing, and you know, how are they going to change in April when I have my first child? And a couple of themes really stood out. I think um, one is that I want my child to have access to cleaner air and water than we have today. And I want my child to live in a state um, that supports the new clean economy. I also really want to raise my child in a state that looks forward and um, to all the future possibilities that exist. So I think that we should clean up Wisconsin power plants and invest in clean energy sources because it's forward thinking. And also because I, can't, I currently can't eat the fish that comes from Wisconsin lakes. And instead I have to take, because mercury levels are too high. And instead, I have to take supplements that have been screened for mercury, lead, and PCBs. And it's, that's really too bad, because I should be able to eat local Wisconsin fish. And um, I hope that in the future, my child will be able to do so because of this bill. I also think we should clean up Wisconsin power plants and invest in clean energy, because it's forward thinking, and also because we need cleaner air to breathe. Um, I would like to live closer to downtown than I do today because I would like to support local businesses and be able to walk and bike and take the bus to the places that I want to go and support downtown. But I don't want to live closer to the dirty power plant that lives right downtown also. And so I'd like to um, you know, see that power plant cleaned up, be able to live closer to downtown and support those businesses. So I think that we should take strong action to protect our future generations 
and from dangerous emissions and all the associated health effects. We should also invest in clean energy and fuel efficiency also because it's forward thinking and because it will bring greater investment to the state. We desperately need new economic opportunity here and I think it, um, you know, investing in the new clean economy will help us to do that. It makes me really mad to see some politicians fall for the same little arguments from the same bad players and um, get stuck year after year. I want my child to grow up in a state where we're forward thinking and we're not being dragged back into the excuses and policy yesterday. One lesson that I will be sure to teach my child is goal setting. We set goals for our careers and our household budgets and this basic principle um, I really support for our local for our government as well. I support strong goals that move us toward greater efficiency and clean air and water and as an expectant parent I'm here because I really care about the future of Wisconsin and hope that our elected officials will do the right thing and um, quickly support this bill and get it passed. Thank you. Thank you. I'm Deb Carpenter. Um, I am a Wisconsin native and I live in Wauwatosa where I own and I've run my own small business for almost 16 years now. I'm here today because I'm um, very concerned about our environment, especially our environment right here in Wisconsin. I've been proud of our natural resources, our clean air, water, and abundant um, outdoor activities until recently. I never imagined that I would be so concerned about air quality here in my own state. Um, I had the opportunity to coach soccer for eight years, and at the beginning of my coaching time, my daughter was the only girl with asthma on our team. And at the end of my tenure, more than half of the kids on this team had asthma. More than half of the girls on this soccer team had to take daily prescribed medication to control their breathing problems. Um, so something clearly had changed in that eight-year period. Uh, Milwaukee is now the second worst city in our country for air quality and for asthma. It is um, worse than the national average for the, amount of, the number of people that are using inhaled medications to control that asthma. Uh, my daughter is now 17 years old and she's college bound. Um, I never envisioned that when my kids were going to college, I would ask them to go out of state where the air was cleaner so that they could breathe better air. We need this clean energy bill to pass. We need clean air, um, not just for my daughter, not just for asthmatics, but for all Wisconsin residents and all the generations to come. 